Entrepreneurship is the new American dream. Taking full control of your life and your success by making your ideas a reality. 14% of Americans have taken the leap and started their own company. All of them will tell you there were times when it felt like an American nightmare. Everyone has ideas, but it's not the ideas that make a successful entrepreneur, it's the audacity to run towards the roar. I'm Jason Forrest, and for the past 10 years, I've been the executive coach to some of the top CEOs in the country. Every successful entrepreneur has had a time when they weren't sure if their company would survive. These are the stories of the men and women who ran towards the roar, went all in, and won. With every CEO I work with, we discuss two things, what knowledge they need in order to be successful and what leashes are holding them back. At 23 years old, Hilary Strassner took over a multi-million dollar lab company. She knew she needed a mentor to help her with the knowledge, so she found one and told him he must speak with her daily. And she never allowed skeptics to stop her. With four competitors trying to buy her out, not only did she not sell, but she put them all out of business within five years. Hillary has had extreme success because she knew the two truths. Her success has more to do with her beliefs than her abilities, and the coaching along the way makes all the difference. Today, I'm with Hillary Strassner, former CEO of ProLabs. How are you doing, Hillary? Great, thank you. So what exactly does ProLab do? ProLab is a medical reference laboratory that services the geriatric community. So we go out every morning, draw the lab work that the doctors order, bring it back to one of our reference laboratories, run the results, and get them out by, the goal is 6 o'clock that day. Hmm. Now, is this a pretty competitive business? I mean, there's a lot of... You have a lot of competition or? When I started out the business um, about 17 years ago, there wasn't a lot of competition, um, just primarily because there wasn't a lot of um, folks servicing the geriatric community. There was LabCorp and Quest, which were the primary reference laboratories, but they didn't really have a service level that was specific for the acute care or geriatric community. Well, what, what inspired you to open up a lab company? I was in college, I was working waiting tables, paying for my way through school, and went to go pick up my roommate one day from her job, and she was working for a company, a laboratory at the time. Um, happened to walk in, met the owner, and his first question to me was, is, do you have a job, do you need a job? And I said, well, I guess, I have one, but he said, well, let me teach you how to do lab work. And so, literally, next week I went in and met with him, he stuck his arm out and said, here's how you draw labs, and he just literally taught me how to be a phlebotomist. Within a couple weeks, I was going out in, in the nursing facilities and servicing the patients. And it didn't take me long to quickly realize how much I loved the environment, the people, and most importantly, the patients. Um, just having conversations with them. They were um, a part of society that seems to not get as much attention once they're in a nursing home. And it was really rewarding and um, to go in and actually see them every day and talk with them and get to know those patients.